So what is up guys, Marvin here, welcome back to my channel and today as you can see from the title we're gonna be doing a, let's say a medical analysis about semen retention, you know what is semen retention practice that's been around for thousands of years where men basically abstain from ejaculation. It's gaining popularity right now. So, and since I'm not, um, you know, a big fan of magic and like, you know, spirituality, and I'm more a scientific guy, um, I'm gonna try to do this, as I said, a uh, medical analysis on why many people jump on this practice and they see results. So let's dive into it. Abstract. So, what are the main topics of this discussion of today? Modern diets lack micronutrients. We're not eating the right amount of micronutrients. So, what are micronutrients in semen? We're going to discuss that. Saying vitamin B12. There is no doubt modern society is hypersexualized. So, we're going to discuss probably the semen retention mechanism the evolutionary meanings and does this shit cause cancer, you know, because many people be asking this. What's the purpose of sex? Sex is to reproduction and selection of the best genes through sexual selection. What's sexual selection? Basically, usually in all uh, species, the females select the males, they generate, uh, you know, strong offspring. And in some species, like humans and dolphins, it has, a, you know, a fun component to it because we develop brains and we want to have the fun part and not the reproduction. So what is semen? Semen, again, is the male sexual fluid. It contains sperm cells and the nutrients to provide for these cells. What nutrients does semen contain? It contains vitamin C, B12, ascorbic acid, calcium, citric acid, fructose, lactic acid, magnesium, zinc, potassium, sodium, fat, and protein. It is constantly produced by testicles and it can be temporarily stored in the epididymis. This is an important part. It can be stored. It is true that it gets constantly um, synthesized, but it can be stored to a certain degree. So uh, abstaining from sexual activity is gonna increase the store size of your semen. Ejaculation definitely has nutrient loss. So in the box you know, on your left, you can see what are the amounts of uh, nutrients in semen. And I wanna talk about something right here. You can see I uh, cut out a little part where it says that the average amount is 3.4 milliliters, but you can ejaculate as high as five milliliters. So you could act potentially be losing much, much more nutrients. And we don't know who were the people they made a study from, you know, maybe it was people who were deficient on nutrients. So maybe they were losing less nutrients, but who knows, who knows, who knows. You can see it has, not so much, but if you accumulate uh, quite some time, it can lead to a nutrient loss. As I was saying in the beginning, modern day nutrition is just shit. We have low micronutrients content in our diets. Uh, we eat mainly processed foods and even whole uh, organic foods have been shown to have much, much less nutrients that the foods from 50 60 years ago so most people are slightly or severely deficient in micronutrients i mean you can check it on by yourself go around and hear how many people are going to tell you i'm tired i feel like shit you know most of the times there's hormonal and nutrients issues modern day nutrition is high in carbohydrates and the carbohydrate uh, metabolism is quite particular because those enzymes they just consume a shit ton of uh, vitamin c vitamin b zinc you know funny fact if you eat a low carb uh, diet you're gonna require much 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 less vitamin c so 
do whatever you want with this information. So what happens if a deficient person ejaculates way too often? Let's put the points together, you know, semen contains lots of micronutrients, people are eating not so many micronutrients. So what's gonna happen if you're a porn addict and you're busting nuts three times a day? Your deficient is gonna get way, way worse. So you're gonna be tired as fuck. Your skin is gonna look like shit because, sorry to break the news guys, but skin health, it doesn't depend on bacteria and all that, you know, it depends on that. But the bacteria starts to infect your skin when the skin doesn't have defenses and when it's not healthy skin. What does a healthy skin require? Lots of vitamin A, vitamin D, zinc, vitamin B. Isn't it that funny that those are the same nutrients found in sperm? You're going to lower your testosterone, but that's not for micronutrients. That's for a hormonal mechanism that we're going to see. Why is it that when you, uh, you know, have so much fun by yourself, you feel like shit? Like, why? Every organism on this planet has a priority to reproduce. You know, that's our mission of our planet, pass on our genes, and we want to reproduce. So, therefore, synthesis of sperm and seminal fluid comes first. The body doesn't care. The main mission is passing on our genes. So if um, the tank of sperm is empty, the body first thing to do is fill it up with fresh sperm because you want to reproduce. Uh, that doesn't happen, for example, during prolonged fasting or calorie restriction because the body you know, priority is to actually survive. So it's going to shut down uh, reproduction totally. And yeah, nutrients get literally drained out of your body. Another thing is a feedback system of prolactin that ends uh, sexual arousal. So let's see this. What is it? Here we can see dopamine and prolactin, and we can see uh, testosterone. So as you're approaching the orgasm, dopamine and testosterone are actually rising. So why is that? Dopamine, we all know what is dopamine. It's a neurotransmitter and enforces your behaviors. So if a behavior will give you lots of dopamine, you want to chase it more and more. So it makes sense that sex is going to be the thing that has the most dopamine release. But but what happens, your orgasm and the dopamine just goes down because you can't be having sex all day, right? That's actually the natural part. But we have addicts who just somehow they bypass the shit and, and they just manage to, I don't know, spend hours on porn up. So you can see prolactin also goes up. Prolactin going up, it will lower your testosterone. That's why they were saying professional boxers shouldn't be having sex before matches. You know, after you ejaculate, you you feel kind of tired, you want to go to sleep, you know. So definitely, definitely true. And yeah, this is really a hormonal mechanism. It impacts your brain, man, like for real. And here we come to the to this part, like modern society is definitely over-sexualized due to capitalism. Sex is a primal instinct. Why do you think, uh, for example, parfum, clothes, they always get put on to hot people. It hijacks this mechanism. It's not something that people have improvised. You know, we have neuroscientists and psychologists who just do this shit as a job, you know. So in end result, people are way too overstimulated, will indulge in sexual activities, therefore reducing vital hormones and nutrients, getting weaker, and companies can control them more and sell them more shit. So how does it work? How does semen retention work? You know, like I get people, they tell me, you know, I've tried this shit. I've tried by myself and you can feel the result. Like, why, man? Like, how the fuck does this shit work? Um, so first of all, this is a no brainer. Um, you're keeping your micronutrients in, okay? You're, you're not releasing the semen and obviously, so you're keeping the micronutrients in. Plus, if the semen is not released, it will get reabsorbed. So you're basically recycling those nutrients and then never leave their, your body. You get increased testosterone. Why is that? You know, one could be hormonal feedback systems and it could be do more zinc. Since in seminal fluid, we also have little amounts of testosterone. It could be because we're not releasing that. But we have studies that 
that show like on the seventh day you have a peak of testosterone. But again, like the last point says, we don't have that many molecular mechanisms because it's not a it's not a subject that gets studied a lot. Neurotransmitters reset due to more availability of nutrients. So for example, serotonin, like many people, they just check off all day and they say, I'm depressed. Well, you're gonna have low testosterone and since you're zinc depleted, you're not gonna synthesize enough serotonin. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter um, involved. How you feel, if you're happy, if you're sad. So yeah, it definitely uh, um, reset uh, your neurotransmitters due to this. And since you're not constantly uh, peaking dopamine and crushing it constantly, like constantly chasing those dopamine peaks, you also do something that is called dopamine fasting. Basically, you just readapt to normal amounts of dopamine so you get more excited for normal days activities and since you're not getting dopamine from porn and sex you're gonna search it in other stuff obviously a great thing to have in your life so but since biology can't give us too many answers yet because we lack studies can evolution give us answers and the answer is yes because as i said before passing on our genes is the main mission on this earth when you fulfill it your life becomes uh, purpose less you don't have a purpose because you basically uh, achieve the purpose and the body has no interest in looking good because you're reproducing you're doing fine why should the body uh, make you look better stuff like that you know this is it's like a really easy talk you know because obviously the body doesn't think all the shit it, it happens on uh, molecular mechanism so since you don't need to reproduce you don't need to uh, attract other sex you just need to live to take care of the child but you're not reproducing so the body needs to conserve itself until an okay an occasion is presented and it needs to effectively attract females you know why did i say like fasting because it's the same thing you know you don't eat nutrients so um, you know you don't eat food so the body is kind of going into a conservative mode to uh, preserve itself and when you're not having sex the body goes kind of in a in a mode where it's gonna make you have sex you know better uh you it, it's gonna make you more appealing so what are the traits that women like you know men who are secure in themselves so higher testosterone how do we have higher testosterone you guess it not reproducing men who look good muscles and good skin it's the same thing that happens during semen retention and they like men who are driven towards a goal and with social skill to be driven towards a goal you need dopamine because dopamine is what makes you chase behaviors and guess what uh, constant porn addiction and sex fucks up your dopamine systems and you're not going to be driven towards a goal. Other stuff besides sex fucks this up, you know, drugs, alcohol, and <laughs> social media as well. Social skills, thinking about uh, evolution point, you know, you're not having sex, so you need to socialize, and the brain, it's going to improve in that, you know. Here we come to the last part, the conflict about prostate cancer, like way too much uh, disinformation comes from this. You can see, we can see the risk facts, factors of prostate cancer, like race, uh, North American, North and European location. Why is this? Is because northern people have lower uh, levels of vitamin D. So get your vitamin D in and you're not gonna have, uh, you know, cancer. Family history and eating habits and age, like, like all types of cancer. So why is the claim of ejaculation reducing prostate cancer not scientific? Because we look at a study where they claim the shit and we see two major flaws like first of all the men in the study were reporting were reporting the ejaculation by themselves you know the scientists weren't uh, counting the times they were ejaculating we could have people who were ejaculating 50 times a month maybe they were shy or whatever and they told that oh, i don't do that at all like you know you, you see the idiocy in this one and yeah and and it, and at the end the study definitely says ejaculation frequency was not statistically significantly associated with risk of advanced prostate cancer so the study itself confirmates that this shit is not true so <laughs> ironic ironic so we come to the conclusion is it safe obviously yes because it doesn't cause cancer 
everybody can do it. It requires no special equipment and it might fix your mental health. But, you know, with all the data we have from people like self-reports, I think it definitely fixes mental health. And the last thing is if you have a girlfriend, obviously you can have sex with her. Just do it in moderation, eat nutrients, dense diet. Have a purpose in life and remember it's only a part of the relationship, you know. You definitely don't need to be in a monk state, but you definitely don't want to be uh, over-sexualized. Uh, so this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did and let me know what you think in the comments. And see you in the next one, guys.